Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reviewing this 2024 Jeep Compass. Let's get right into it. And then under the hood we have a turbocharged 2 liter 4 cylinder that produces 200 horsepower and 221 pound feet of torque. That goes to an 8 speed automatic transmission. And then fuel economy is 24 around town and 32 on the highway. Now when you come onto the front end, you can see the Jeep badging with its signature grill up front and then we have these all led we have these led headlamps with the fog lamps the front bumper skid plate overall the front look looks pretty awesome and now when we come onto the side we can see this gorgeous silver color paint with this black cladding fender flares we have 17 inch tires up on the front and over on the rear and then take a couple steps back this is going to be our entire site profile and then I would like when you come down, I would like to thank Blaze Alexander Jeep of State College who let me spend some time with this compass so I can film it for you guys. and then we have these blacked out mirror caps over here and yes it does come with the blind spot monitoring we have compass right written here by the door now, when we come on to the back we can see the Jeep badging over here and then we have these LED tail lamps turn indicator and we have the 4x4 badging down there since it comes in a 4x4 and then this is the late latitude variant so and now when we come inside we can see this body color door handles and now when we come inside you can see hard plastic hard plastic over here then we have a little bit of cloth trim soft touch rest all hard plastic because it's like entry level jeep we have cup holder little bit of storage space power window controls and our chrome door handles and now when we pop onto the back m5758 so according to that i have good amount of leg room and yeah good amount of headroom as well and now before we move forward with this review i just want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this then i recommend you subscribe because i post content every single week every subscribe like share counts and that would help me to bring more quality content for you guys then as you can see we have these leather seats nice mesh nice trim nice trim on the seats here but yeah we have these leather seats that are quite comfy and then yeah we have leather seats and then in the middle we have cup holders and an armrest quite comfortable and then when we come down here we can adjust the speed and then <clears throat> here's our ac vents Here's our cool looking, gorgeous looking AC vents with a USB A and a USB C port. And then we even have a 12 volt charger down there. Wow, that's pretty good. And now let's go on, move on to the front. Now, when we come onto the front, you can see pretty much the same trim, hard plastic, soft touch with the cloth materials here. And then we have cup holders down here. We have the lock and lock, child lock, all power window controls. And then these is to adjust our mirrors, chrome door handle. And now, when we come on here, these seats are leather. Love this trim over here. Same trim, blue stitching. These are power adjusting seats. And then, once we hop in, I like this trim on the dash over here. It's soft touch. I really like this AC vent style. And then, we have our headlight controls down here. Once we pop inside, you can see we have this leather wrapped steering wheel. It has a nice touch feel to it. We have the Jeep logo up center. We have physical controls for the infotainment system and the instrument cluster. And we, the cruise control is up here. And as you can see over here, we have an old school analog gauge cluster. And then we have a 10.1 inch infotainment system. And then, yeah, it has the auto dimming IRVM. And then we have like a home link, garage door opener, vanity mirror, sunscreen shade. And then, wow, this is pretty unique. The button to open the trunk is up here. That's the first time I ever saw. And then to switch off the automatic start stop is over here. This is our hazard lights. And yeah, cool AC vent. And then we have some physical controls for our climate control. Temperature increase, decrease, refogger, infotainment system controls, traction off and lane center control. And then when we come down here, we have some storage space down there 
USB A, USB C ports, and then we have this eight speed automatic shifter that looks pretty good. We have electronic parking brake over here, and since this is a four by four, we have snow. We have mode change, which we can do sand, snow, or automatic. And then we have our four wheel drive locking differential right here. We have two cup holders up in the center, a armrest, nice trim on the armrest, pretty deep storage space on the armrest. And I like how this trim continues all the way across here on the dash. And then pretty nice use of this chrome, looks good. And then this is our glove box. Pretty deep storage glove box. As you can see, the needle goes all the way up. And then as you can see, it has an analog gauge cluster. But along with that, it has like the, it shows the speed digitally as well. And it's a brand new car since it has only 12 miles on the radar. And the infotainment system, quick, fast response time. That's always, we have heated steering wheel. Heated seats up here, and so that's good. So we have heated steering wheel, heated seats, and yeah. Now let's check its trunk space. And as you can see, it has the red turn indicator. And then look at that. It's like a small crossover, but as you can see, it has like a pretty practical amount of trunk space. As you can see, the floor is quite low, so you can easily load this stuff. And since it's like a SUV, so this is the button to close the hatch. That means this has like the power lift gate. It has a power lift gate. Don't do anything. Just press the button on the key or the top here. Power lift gate. And then you can just load stuff in it. And we have some storage down here as well. So yeah, once all done, just press this. Move back. It would beep and slowly lower the hatch. Let me know down in the comments, what do you think about how the rear looks of the compass? I think it looks pretty good. And, and now as you can see, this is its key fob. You can see the Jeep logo up here. And then back here, we have the lock, unlock, opening for the hatch, and the remote start with the panic button. And then now, Let's talk about its window sticker. I love it. Now, go. honestly, guys, you might be wondering how much does this compass cost? Now, as you can see, here's the window sticker. Base price is thirty thousand dollars, and then as you can see, these are all the standard equipment. Pretty good enough for a car, and especially a ten point one inch standard, including like including all the options that are here. Your total MSRP comes out to just thirty five thousand dollars. Thirty five thousand dollars for a good enough size crossover and then getting 24 miles per gallon in the city and 32 miles per gallon on the highway, I would say is pretty good. It's a bang for your buck, a thumbs up from my side. In today's, in today's day and age when $50,000 is like the uh, average price of a new car, then $35,000 is justified for a 2024 brand new model. I overall like the entire look of this car. And then if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and then uh, subscribe, share, comment. So it would help me post more videos for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.